In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the most mysterious, nuanced, and infamous subreddits called this right here. But I'll simply be referring to it as 858 for us zoomers that have an attention span of a goldfish. And with that being said, what exactly is 8858? Before I go into what 8858 is, like the actual subreddit and stuff, I think it's important to know who exactly 8858 is, because they are a user, or at least try to have an idea of what kind of content they posted, because in all truth, we don't exactly know who they are, but just allow me to explain. User 8858, which once again is short for all of this, actually had multiple accounts with the other one being this one, which is just the username in reverse, and we're actually the owner of multiple subreddits, with this one being the most prominent one, of course. I would show you all the other subreddits they own, but the link that contained all their info was actually Dead. And A58 also deleted their account, which definitely makes things easier, especially when I'm trying to look for their post history. But luckily, putting the link to their now deleted account into the Wayback Machine does actually showcase most of, if not all, of the subreddits they owned in this screenshot taken May 28, 2014. So I did end up showing y'all the other subreddits that they own. You're welcome. So now smack the chicken noodle soup out of the subscribe button. Thank you. Anyways, if you have eyes and a brain, then you could probably notice to the right side of all the subs they moderated, and that I assume to have been deleted because I didn't find any other screenshots with them moderating it anymore in the Wayback Machine, you might have seen these seemingly random strings of numbers that A858 posted to their subreddit, but what is all of that, and what exactly is the r slash A858 subreddit? Once again, the subreddit was of course created by user 8858, and the content that the sub consisted of was the following. You see all this? That was a subreddit in a nutshell, just random posts of numbers and letters. However, big brain redditors got together and created a subreddit called r slash solving 8858 in attempts to figure out what in the chicken noodle soup is going on with all these seemingly random posts. However, before we dive into the posts themselves, here's some things we actually know about the subreddit, courtesy of r slash solving 858's welcome thread. By the way, all the links to my sources will be in a paste bin in the description. First off, the title of A58's posts are timestamps of both the date and the time of the post, and there's actually a detailed spreadsheet containing a timeline of every single one of A58's posts, which I'll be getting into later. Secondly, the posts occur at a fairly regular interval, although there seems to be a delay of a few seconds between posts. Sometimes there's also a jump to a new hour. Third, the subreddit is occasionally wiped of its posts and goes private when a large number of users visit. Fourth, the apparent time zone calculated by the auto analysis changes every now and then, and I'll try my best to explain what the auto analysis tool is later on. Fifth, a858 has been known to respond to a select few users, which I'll be getting to later on as well. Six, most of the posts are encrypted or random data, and only a few of the posts are encoded differently and are easy to solve. And lastly, A858 is watching. <laughs> but anyways, I think that there's a lot to dive into in terms of the subreddit, decoding and decrypting its posts, some of the things that the community did in order to do so, the posts that have actually been successfully solved, and so much more. So I'll do my best to explain all of this, respect the community and their efforts to solve it, and make it easily digestible for y'all chicken heads to understand. So let's dive into this and we'll be starting from the very beginning of the subreddit's creation. The infamous A858 subreddit was created in January 2011, with this being one of the earliest posts on the subreddit, posted on January 27th, 2011. This may be around where the subreddit began, however, I don't think the subreddit gained a lot of attention until around July of that year, due to the influx of upvotes and comments on this post, especially compared to all of the other posts that came before it, and I'm not entirely sure if what I'm about to say is actually the case, but I'm led to believe that this is around the time when the sub became open to the public because it was private before because of all the traction it was gaining, but that's just a theory. A Joe Mama theory. In this post that was submitted July 2nd, the one that had, of course, the influx of upvotes, on a screenshot taken July 5th, 2011, in the comments alone, you can see how much attention the subreddit was garnering, with not only people trying to figure out what in the chicken noodle soup it can possibly be, but you got people memeing around, and one person even tried putting it into Google Translate. Apparently, I thought it was Welsh. And I'll be getting more specific with the post history of a 5 a and the specific of the post in just a second, but I also wanted to just mention that because of all of the attention the r slash a858 subreddit was receiving it led to the creation of subreddits attempting to solve not only the posts but trying to figure out what the purpose of the subreddit is with of course the most prominent being the r slash solving a858 subreddit created september 2nd 2012 and with the subreddit being created to solve the post subsequently this detailed spreadsheet that was created to document a858's post was also created so i wanted to get into this and also talk about specific posts that were successfully solved 
Admittedly, when I first saw the spreadsheet, I almost had a mental breakdown trying to understand what in the Harry Potter was going on, but after some time sitting down and attempting to use my big brain intuition to try to understand it, although I won't be able to explain all of it because my brain is too small, I'll be going over the parts I do know, so let's get into it. Alright, so boom, here's the spreadsheet. Now once again, the titles of the posts are dates and times, which are conveniently quote unquote translated if you will, here on the left. To the right of the title is how many characters are in a post. Now this next section, admittedly, I'm not 100% sure of, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this part that says hex tells us whether or not a post is written in the form of or contains some sort of hexadecimal which of course is a writing system or simply put another way of writing numbers as opposed to something like binary now again i'm no programmer and please all y'all big brain programmers let me know if i'm slipping up here and i will indeed make corrections in the paste bin and in the pinned comment lastly once again i'm not 100 percent certain on these parts either however the part that says decrypted and semi-solved i assume mean that the posts weren't necessarily solved to completion however parts of the posts were both decrypted and solved to an extent what exactly was decrypted and what determines a post to be semi-soft, I'm unsure of, but I hope I'm right with these assumptions, and if I'm not, once again, please reach out to me so that I can make corrections. So why is it that I'm bringing up this spreadsheet in the first place? Well, if you just keep on scrolling and scrolling and scrolling you see that it's sort of like tiktok and that you can literally just keep on scrolling and freaking scrolling there are thousands of documented posts from the 858 subreddit and out of these only a handful were successfully solved let's talk about those solved posts now, I won't be going super in-depth into all of these soft posts, but if you'd like to take a look for yourself, it'll be in the paste bin in the description. But I'll briefly touch on some of the posts, and I'll also be going over the AMA, which stands for Ask Me Anything that 858 hosted. So the first post I'll be covering is a quote from a book called Actions and Passions by Max Lerner. And the quote reads as follows. Do not confuse your vested interests with ethics. Do not identify the enemies of your privilege with the enemies of humanity. Max Lerner, Actions and Passions, 1949. What this could possibly mean in regards to the subreddit, we can only guess, but let's move on regardless. Another post we'll be looking at is the infamous Stonehenge art, and this is how it looks like. Very interesting. Have you ever wanted to be gifted red gold? I know I haven't, but A58 was lucky enough to have been gifted by user Titanium Shovel, and A58 responded in their usual fashion. Thank you. Do you know what a cake day is on Reddit? If not, it's basically the day you created your account, and this is what A58 posted on their cake day. And apparently there's more to it, which I won't be getting into, but these are just some of the posts that have been successfully solved. And going back to the auto analysis tool, what it does is it logs the post and attempts to automatically decode the post. You can pause and read the finer details if you'd like. But that's basically the tool in a nutshell, and there's much more than that to it, but I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything about it, so let's move on to something that my pea brain can handle. Let's talk about A58's AMA, which once again stands for Ask Me Anything, and is basically Reddit's version of a QA. A user named W95, who verified themselves to be related to the A58 project by the link to the AMA being posted in the A58 subreddit, which was subsequently deleted after the AMA had finished. But shout out to the Wayback Machine because I got screenshots of said verification right here. Also, before I get into the thread, here's actually the encoding scheme used for the AMA responses. Because in usual fashion, a 5 a used numbers and letters to talk, so if you'd like to read more into this, you can pause and read, or just go to the paste bin. Anyways, this is yet another lengthy thread, and I will most definitely not be covering each and every single question, but let's go over what happened in the AMA. Whenever anything about the purpose of the a 5 a subreddit was brought into question, or the purpose of the other subreddits ran by a 5 a then I always give an answer like, the purpose cannot be disclosed, and that a 5 a will end when the purpose is either discovered or disclosed. Which, as of the making of this video, it was is not discovered nor disclosed and the project has already ended but i'll talk about that a little bit later there's one part of this thread that caught my attention though user fraglet which conveniently quote unquote translated if you will all of a 5 is encoding posts into actual words you can read asked a series of questions with one of them being how come you're posting on a different username why not just post as a 5 a with them responding we'll go with plausible deniability one thing i've noticed is that whoever was posting on behalf of a 5 a and this ama doesn't really ever say i and always says we implying that it's not simply just one person behind the sub or at least they're trying to make it seem as if it's a team and this a58 is part of some sort of project I know I didn't mention their name much, but user Fraglet played a huge role in decrypting and decoding the post and making the auto analysis tool. Fraglet and another now deleted user actually came into contact with the person behind a 5 a and it was revealed that a 5 a was a funded project by an unknown company for an unknown purpose. Quote, the person we spoke with said that he was paid to post code puzzles using encryption or various methods of text manipulation. He said that creating puzzles is a difficult thing to do because you never really know how hard it is for others until you put it out there. Along with the puzzles, he said the majority 
majority of the posts contain random data that was encrypted. Even if we used the right key to decrypt them, we wouldn't have noticed. He has said the company paying him no longer wanted to fund the project and shut it down. It sounds like there will not be a reboot and the project is completely finished even though it remains mostly unsolved. End quote. And this brings us to the end. To user Team W Mods closing post. Quote, thank you for your efforts trying to solve the puzzles presented by the A858 project. The A58 project team members have been reassigned. There will be no further A58 project posts by our team. We apologize that the information available to the public is not sufficient to solve all outstanding puzzles. Some information was missed and others remained undiscovered slash misunderstood. But because of the misinformation, any further efforts on solving A58 will be in vain. The moderators of R slash solving A858 can confirm that Team W Mod is an A858 project team member. End quote. In a pinned comment, user Fraglet then says the following quote, I can confirm that this is a legitimate message. Team W Mod has demonstrated ownership over R slash A858 by temporarily making me an approved submitter to the subreddit. This message was sent to the moderators of r slash solving a 58 end quote. In the end, I think we all understood that this wouldn't be able to go on forever, and despite the fact that we may never know what a 58 was for, one thing is for certain. Even though I wasn't around during the peak of a 58 just by going down this rabbit hole, I can see that everyone that made an effort to solve this mystery was at the very least having fun attempting to uncover something that could potentially be bigger than they know. I hope that didn't sound too corny, and once again, if I got anything wrong, please let me know on either my Twitter, my Instagram, or just leave a comment, but I'll just need you to verify your corrections. Anyway, subscribe if you enjoyed and please watch the outro. Thank you. When I'm on YouTube, I be like swanane. Eating my chicken noodle soup just like swanane. When I hit the name.